Hi, I'm Derek from Good Times Marine and take a look at this Maclay 651 crossover. What an absolute stunning piece of plate alloy engineering. So let's have a look through this boat and figure out what makes this Maclay such a work of art. The 5mm 508.3 plate grade alloy sheet. Now that's a marine grade high tensile aluminium bottom. The side is also 508.3 grading in a 4mm and the floor is also 4mm transoms 4mm as well. So this boat has a skin which is incredibly strong in its construction. But to support that, it all comes down to the structure as well. And internally, the boat's running a longitudinal stringer system, something you would typically see in a fiberglass boat. So the way they're put into boat, they're all fully welded into the into the floor of the boat. Now it gives the boat incredible strength, and stiffness in the in the longitudinal uh, direction. Riding this boat, the best way to describe it is like jumping into a Land Cruiser. You just feel like you can drive through just about anything. It's incredibly wide and stable, even though it's got a beam of 2.3. It just feels like it's got a huge amount of grip in the water. And when you're driving through open, rough water, it just feels like you just drive through it no matter what is in front of you. You just bash straight through it. And the ride is incredibly comfortable, just like you would expect in a Toyota Land Cruiser. Let's have a look through the rest of the boat, because the structure of the boat is phenomenal. It's the features inside which are also just as good. Access to the crossover series is excellent. Really good ladder, very strong ladder. Big platform across here. So with the engines in its normal running position til uh, tilted down, you can basically use this as a swim platform. So if kids are involved with your boating, they have a great time playing around the back here and jumping off. The transom door or the transom walkthrough here is actually a standard feature in the, the crossover series. And there's a light wide bait tank that sits in over here. So really good access in and out of the boat. And one of the other cool features, there's actually a door which is just situated here and stored neatly on the back of the boat on the, on the starboard side, which fits in there. So if you're in really rough water, you can actually block any chance of any water moving around and coming into the main cockpit. Horsepower wise on the 651, it'll hold up to a 225. This particular boat set up with the 200 V8 from Mercury, and we're getting speeds around 76, 78 kilometers an hour. So it's quite a quick boat with that horsepower. So if you ran that up to the 225, you're definitely going to have speeds in the early 80s without any problem at all. Walk through the main area in the boat here. A lot of people ask about the buoyancy in the boat from a safety point of view. McClay builds air chambers, sealed air chambers right along the hull. So they run down both sides, right across in the bow, wrap around and join in the middle there. Um, so it's a very, very big area full uh, of air. There's also on the side of the gunnels here, These are, the gunnels are full of foam as well. So they're quite a large area there. So if the boat was really going down, they're also going to give you added, uh, added buoyancy. Side pockets run the full length of the boat. You've got a fold out back seat at the back here. The bait board, it's an option to do this, but the bait board's actually an option. But also, the other cool feature about the bait board is it's actually got a slide that opens up into a big kill tank in the actual boat. Moving forward in the boat, we've got the storage under the, the starboard side seat box here, an esky or what they call a chili bin for in New Zealand under the port side. Big side pockets either side of the driver and passenger, glove box area and additional storage in front of the passenger. The dash area is big enough to hold a 16 inch. We've got a 12 inch Simrad in the dash at the moment. Moving forward into the cabin, it's beautifully upholstered. You can have it, either have it done in a soft vinyl, which we've done in this particular boat, or you can have it done in a material if you want to get that softer feel. You can actually get what's called a, sw a swab extension, or in Australia would call that a bunk extension. And that extension then sits in between the seat box and the cabin and gives you extra leg room if that's what you need. With the design of the hard top, we definitely recommend running an electric anchor winch uh, on the boat. This one's running a sav winch and saves you a lot of hassle when you're coming up to the, to the reef or your location to anchor up. The hatch in the top of the roof, we actually upgrade to have a Perspex window on it just to get a little, a little bit of extra sunlight coming into the cabin. But it's also massive, it's very, very wide. So if you do need to get over the front of the boat, you'll have no problems in reaching through regardless of what size you are. The cabin is actually standard with a painted finish. So you can choose your color with that. Your color you choose here is matched with the vinyl striping that runs down the side of the hull. Now everyone asks how what is this finish? It's got like, it looks like it's got curves and divots in it. It's absolutely perfectly flat, to be honest with you. What they do is what, when the boat's finished in construction, it comes into the prep room and they actually whiz or put it like a, a wire whiz down the side of it with a machine and it gives this nice brushed look. 
then what they do is actually put a nylac over it, which is actually a clear coat. So it totally protects the aluminium. So where you see some unpainted aluminium boats with like a, a damaged finish where little bits of corrosion are kicking from the salt, that will not occur with the Maclays because of the nylac finish, which is done on all the unpainted finishes of the aluminium. I'll also touch on one of the clever things that happens with the Maclay boats. Now this is a feature that you won't see in any other plate boat. 5083 or high tensile aluminium is basically meant to be impossible to shape or to mould without cracking it because it's high tensile. Steve McClay uh, many years ago developed a way of being able to roll the aluminium and he's actually built his own machine to be able to do that uh, which allows him to be able to put these curves you'll see just on the top here and down the bottom uh, there's actually a curve in it and if you look down the side sheet the actual side of the, the boat actually has a, a curve in it. Now that puts a huge amount of extra stiffness into the side sheet by having that curve there. And it's another reason why these boats just ride so incredibly well. The hull being so stiff, it doesn't flex when it hits the water, it actually pierces the water beautifully and gives that incredible soft ride. One of the other cool features you'll see in a Maclay is this keel guard. Now this is not an option, it's a standard feature you'll see on all the Maclays. It's a 5mm sheet that they've welded in place, so effectively you're going to have 10mm of protection along that main wear area uh, running through the bow. So it's just another example of why Maclay do everything they can to build the strongest boats available. We searched high and low to find a good New Zealand plate alloy boat to have in the stable at Good Times Marine. New Zealand do build outstanding plate alloy boats and the Maclay are one of the best. The engineering behind them is breathtaking. When you see the workmanship, Basically what they do is they get one person to build the boat from start to finish. So when it comes to getting your boat, you can actually find out who that person was that did the assembly, which means that person has a lot of pride in what they're doing. And that's why the workmanship is always just absolute top notch A grade. The McClay boats are well worth having a look. The crossover, if you're looking for something that's got a bit more cabin in it, a little bit more room in it for a family use as well as the offshore fishing, come down, check it out at Good Times Marine. We'd love to go through the, the McClay range with you.